find an equation of the set of all points equidistant from two points, uh, point A and point B. Two points in space, we need the set of all points equidistant from those two points. The visual is necessary here. And so we have a whole plane of points that is equidistant from those two points. There's the points that if you were to connect them, you'll find a point there, and all points there have an equal distance from the point A, who's in red, to the point B, who's in black. Now, okay, so to find the equation of a plane, two things you need. The first thing you need is a point that's on the plane. Now, to get a point that's on this plane, what we can do is find the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two points, guaranteed to be on the plane. Finding the midpoint is just the averaging process. You take the average of the x's, the average of the y's, and the average of the z's. You add them up and you divide by two. So in this case, that'll give us five halves for x, seven halves for y, one half for z. That's a point that's definitely on the plane, and that's half of our story. The other half of our story for finding the equation of the plane is about finding a normal vector to the plane. It's a vector that's orthogonal to the plane. It's orthogonal to every vector that's in the plane. We don't really care about the magnitude of it. We just care that it is orthogonal to the plane. How are we gonna get that? If we were to connect these two points, let's go with the order of uh, connecting A to B. We could do B to A, it doesn't matter. Um, we will get a vector who is orthogonal to the plane. This orange vector connecting A to B is a vector who is orthogonal to the plane. You connect these two points. How do you get the vector between two points? Well, the initial point is A. In this case, the terminal point is B. You take the coordinates of the terminal point and subtract the associated coordinates of the initial point. So we'll do the six minus a negative one and two minus the five, negative two minus the three. That will be the vector. And that vector is orthogonal to the plane. If you happen to notice that they share something in common as far as a common factor, you can factor that out because all that does is affect the magnitude of the vector. And we don't really care about the magnitude, we care about the direction here so that we can say for sure that it's normal to the plane. So now that you have these two things, what do you do with them? Well, the generic equation for a plane has the format of ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero. Um, the a, b, and c come from the normal vector. They are the components of the normal vector. The, the x, y, and z, they, in, in the equation, they stay as x, y, and z. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we have, of these seven different variables, we have six of them. We have the a, b, c from the normal vector, and we have the x, y, z from the point. It's, like anal it's analogous to the finding y equals mx plus b equation, where you know the y, the m, the x, and you've got to get out what the b is. It's analogous to that. We have the ax, the by, the cz. We just need to find out what d is. So we plug in the a, b, and c, their coefficients on the x, y, z. So we take them and we throw in now the x, y, and z from the point. Five halves, seven halves, and one half. Now we don't want to deal with fractions if we can. I mean, they're, they're harmless fractions, they're halves. But still, this is an equation. We can double the equation. So why not? Let's do it. If we double the equation, that gets rid of all the halves at one time. And we, we'll have the arithmetic of 35, take away 21, add on. I'll take away five and then add on D or twice D and that should be equal to zero. Collecting those constants, we'll have a nine, positive nine. And solving for D, then we'll subtract that nine over, divide by the two. And we'll find out that D is equal to not negative nine halves. And we're done. We have AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals zero. The four A, B, C, and D get thrown in. And if you don't like the half being in there, that doesn't feel balanced to you, aesthetically pleasing or whatever, you can always double the equation. And so this is the equation of the plane, 14x minus 6y minus 10z minus 9 equals to 0. And this question had come up earlier in class when we didn't know anything about the equation of a plane, how to find it. Um, we did the brute force way of trying to set the two um, generic distances equal to each other. And... It was a disaster, I and mean, we made our way through it, but this is a much more elegant way by finding the equation of the plane, knowing what you need and going out and getting it. All right, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. I don't know, my daughter tells me I have to say these things at the end of these videos. Um, comment down below.
It's all good. All right. Thank you very much.